In this video, I'm going to show you an advanced Python interactive interpreter. When you install Python, you can run Python interactively by using the command Python or Python 3. This gives you a basic interactive interpreter where you can try things. So as an example, I can type my string 1 equals hello world, and then I can print my string 1. But notice if I type my string 1 dot tab, nothing happens. So no options are shown there. If I import a module such as time and then type time tab, nothing happens. If I try and use the history command, that is not accepted. So Python gives you a basic interactive interpreter, but it doesn't give you any of the nice features that you'll typically get with an IDE, or Integrated Development Environment. Have a look at my other video, which I've linked below, that shows you various options for graphical IDEs, such as PyCharm. But what I want to show you here is a CLI-based interactive interpreter that's a lot nicer to use than the basic Python interactive interpreter. In this topology, I'm using GNS3 with the network automation container. I can use the command apt get update to update references on the Ubuntu container. And then I can use the command pip install ipython. So notice this is ipython and not python. So the command pip install ipython installs ipython and notice the difference. IPython provides an enhanced interactive Python interpreter. Notice we have a counter here. So as an example, if I type my string one equals hello world, like we had before, notice the number increments. But notice here, my string one dot, and I'll press tab now. Notice we can see the methods associated with strings. So as an example, I'll use U tab. That gives me the upper method. And notice there we go. So I could say my string two equals my string one. Press tab. We've got a lot of options here. So let's say L tab. We've got multiple options here. So let's say lower. So my string two looks like that. We also have a history. So if I type history, notice I can see a history of commands. This is a lot easier and a lot more interactive when compared to the standard interactive interpreter. So I could say import time. And notice time dot tab gives me a lot of options, such as clock. This makes it a lot easier to do things in Python. Rather than trying to remember options, you can simply press tab here to see the methods associated with an object or variable. History again shows us the list of commands that we've typed previously, and we can simply recall a command. So notice my string upper has been recalled. That's the command I typed over here. So I could say recall command one. That's the command that I typed over here. So I can simply recall commands very easily through IPython or just use up and down arrows. So up arrow, down arrow, and move through the history of commands in a similar way to what you would do on a router. Even though I'm in Python, I can run shell commands directly. So I could say ping google.com, and notice I'm running a shell command there, or something as simple as pwd, shows me my folder, or ls, shows me the files available. So I'm running shell commands from within Python. So history again shows us that, but I could also do history minus n, shows us the command numbers. So I could say 
recall, press tab here. So recall 10. I could say percentage tab gives me a bunch of options. So let's say R tab. And notice we have the repeat option here. So I could say repeat command 16. And there we go. Now I've only covered some of the very basics of IPython. You can find out a lot more information about the interactive Python shell by looking at their documentation. I've added a link below this video. IPython uses a Jupyter kernel. Please see my other video, which I've linked below, which discusses Jupyter Notebooks. Here's a list of some of the features available with the software. You may be interested in looking at their tutorial, which gives you a lot of information about what's possible with IPython. I simply wanted to make you aware of the software and that it supports options such as tab completion, exploring your objects, magic functions, and other options that are built into the software to make your life easier. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.